Today we're speedrunning through Poppy Playtime Chapter 2, and this game is incredibly broken. Now right away we start out right where we ended off in Poppy Playtime Chapter 1, and we're just gonna walk a little bit, try to make our way to this red door, until we turn over to the left and just walk through that wall going on top of this vent. Yeah, they completely forgot to put collision here, so we can just walk onto this vent, do some kind of precise platforming to make sure that we're not going to fall off, and position ourselves just right so we can hang on to here with our hand, jump off, and then get a nice swing. That skips the beginning of the game, and we can go right through here, walk through the door until we see Poppy, and just ignore her because I don't really care. Yeah, she's gonna scream at us, try to talk to us, stuff like that. I'm trying to go fast, I don't have any time for you. Now as soon as we make it to the bottom, we're going straight to the power room, where here we also have a very simple way to solve this puzzle all i have to do is touch these different things and then i'm going to load my game and i'm going to spam my left click because if i do that i can get the green hand i don't really know why this works out but you'll see that i don't have my red hand right now so i'm going to position myself right here while i'm waiting use my blue hand once and then use both my blue hand and my green hand at the same time so mommy long legs won't be able to take the green hand you do have to use the blue hand slightly before the green hand but by doing that we keep both our hands and we're going to be able to skip even more of the game so while mommy long legs is trying to talk to me i'm going to give her a quick high five and unfortunately we just have to wait out this cutscene. There is also a skip that I don't do, where you can wrap one of your hands around a box multiple times and skip right through the door, but it's really inconsistent and would make the game not really fun to play, so I'm not going to do it for this run. I will leave a link to it in the description though. And finally, we get left alone, so we're going to walk through a couple of doors until we make it to the train. And since we kept our green hand from earlier, we don't have to do any extra stuff on getting it back and can go straight to the train, which means it's time for the pattern. Now luckily, we know to reset this thing twice which I actually messed up on because I'm dumb, but then I fixed it. And we want to set the colors to these. Now after this, there are 10 possible combinations that we have to put in, which you know, usually I don't get very lucky. But for this run, I got it first try, which was actually insane. So that lets us start the train, and now it's just another cutscene. Yeah, we can't really do too much, we just have to listen to Poppy and chill on a train not too much to say so while we're waiting i wanted to say thank you to the poppy playtime discord i mean it's been three days since this game came out and there's already been so many discoveries it's kind of insane actually and also my friend spiff who has an awesome youtube channel where he covers a lot of different horror games i definitely recommend checking it out he helped me out a ton with learning the run and i would have spent a lot more time if it wasn't for him but finally as soon as we get the chance to stop the train we're gonna call off time and there we go 551. Alright, subscribe if you enjoyed. Bye.